It's going to be a fantastic weekend. Personally, I'm going to have a Bobby Dazzling time, and you are too, I just know it. Should have seen Bob Now here's some buzzing sounds from Latin Rachel. Hello, Bobby Dazzling Time. Hello, Bobby Dazzling Time. Hello, Bobby Dazzling Romantic and sentimental. Now what? Pick and place has gone on blink again. Hey, Simon, we're going to be out of any weapons again, though. What's all this? Someone better start getting their fingers out round here. All right, the weekend doesn't start for another two hours yet. I'm well known for my sparkling wit and sense of humour. Men are often intimidated by my intellect. Right, you can suspend your quest for Mr. Wright. You've got my looks big and buzzing. You wanted me? Office. What's all this about? It's about dross coming off this bench, Queenie. Some of it's so gash, it wouldn't look out of place in your car. Right. What's here about? I'm sorry. What's the problem? Something upsetting you? Why do you ask? All that racket out there, those faulty PCBs, they come back to you. Me? Like it or not, Jill, that gadget is accurate to a T, and you're the one that keeps pulling out. Now, I don't know how long it's been going on, but it stops here. Come on, Jill, you're a bloody good worker. Now, if you've got a problem at home, you leave it there, all right? It's one of them. I beg your pardon? Here, now. He's just come. He gave me his card. That's all I bloody need. Kim Soo Young. Isn't it? That's right, you got it. He's the son of the president of a Korean partners. Look sharp, Jill. Get Simon in. Right, Norma, square this office. Yeah. Well, what's he doing here? I think I've got a bloody good idea. Mr. Buckley. Rex Buckley. Uh, Kim Soo Young, the Young Town Village. It's very, very pleased to meet you, sir. Um, terribly sorry there was nobody to meet you at the airport, but. Um, oh, not a problem. We had no indication you were coming. Um, so I'm if you'd like to take one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so I'll just show you this work. <clears throat> Mr. Kim Soo Young. Well, I'm sure you ladies will be absolutely elated to answer any questions Mr. Kim might have regarding productivity, <clears throat> attitude, morale, etc. <coughs> of course, we very much regret that Mr. Kim couldn't give us any advance warning of his visit, but I'm sure they do things differently in Korea. 
Thank you very much, Bernie. If you'd like to accompany Mr. Kim to the machine room. And the shifty sneak and slit eye pack of sharks. Just dropped in, eh? Oh, my hog's got over on by friggin' nips. Lied in, no warning. Trying to catch you, but you gave it's exposed. Oh, Never trust a bugger that makes asses out of paper and goes to work in his pyjamas. Queen. Have you ever considered a career in the Foreign Office? Career-minded, decisive. I should put, I don't know if I were you. Uh, dear Jarakus. Smethurst. Came on this independence, saves us living in each other's pockets. Really? Actually, we've not got on so well in years. It's worked wonders. Oh, that's handy. Not like some folk. How do you mean? Never know what slips through their fingers till they've seen it slung around somebody else's neck. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Donna. We're not kids, you know. Don't soft soak them, girl. That's the trick. What is? You never let them think they're indispensable. Hey, why do you think I've never let him get his woolly nine carats around my wedding finger? Marital bliss without the marital's. Well, yeah, but keep them guessing. Play hard to get. Thanks, Queenie. Uh, Baron Club. Town. Carter. Reynolds with an R. Ninety quid for forty hours graft. I won't know where to put it all. How much on this weekend then? Oh, just a rest, thank you. All right. Good night. Night. So, uh, any plans for the weekend? Uh, I am entirely at your disposal. Ah, well, you've rather caught us on the hop just turning up out of the blue, Mr. Kim, so I don't think we'd be able to lay on our usual lavish hospitality. I'm sure my father would consider you have made every possible effort. Yes. Well, unfortunately, it looks like I'm tied up with company business the entire weekend. However, I'd be more than happy to place my assistant, Norma, at your disposal. Right, Norma, get on to the Britannia Hotel, book our normal suite, and um, while you're at it, organise a car to take yourself and Mr. Kim into town. Ah, uh, this young lady is, um... As it were, our hospitality expert, quite right. A very capable, very skillful young lady, knows the business intimately. I would be more than happy to place Norma entirely at your service, Mr. Kim. And I don't think you'll be at all disappointed. So, if you'll excuse me, I've just uh, one or two things to check up in the actual factory floor and then uh, I'll be off for the weekend. Of course, sir. Of course, sir. I am very happy to be with your assistant. I'm sure you are, Mr. Kim. Have a lovely weekend, Norma. So, uh, you and I go to the hotel together, and then? Um, excuse me a second. Rex dropped me right in it. He said I had to entertain him. <laughs> him? Egg. He's only got you down as one of them geisha girls. Oh, no, Queenie, don't. 
today and stay. Reservation for a Mr. Kim, do you? I'm sorry, madam, we don't seem to have a Mr. Kim down here, and we're fully booked this weekend. Oh, uh, hang on a minute. Couldn't you shove them in a cupboard somewhere? Your customs, your way of life. Oh, aye, aye. What's your game, is it? I'm sorry? You must think we were all born yesterday. I'm anxious only to get to know our British partners a little better. All right, mate. Have it your own way. You want to hobnob with the great British worker? Not you could fry eggs off them. Someone's ass will roast. If I don't hear some decent explanations, start now. They're all away from Tenerife. Hush, hush, like. Hey, exclusive A1 merchandise. I'm waiting. What for? To hear how you've managed to land us with three tonne of walking pie crusts. Contacts, love. I know people. Well, I hope to God they don't get to know me. The villains that have fleeced a dickhead like you for a pile of pet shop chocolates. You can't get them these days. They're like bleeding gold dust. We'll make a killing. Oh, I, yeah. Someone will. You better hope it's not you. Look out, we've got guests. Mind your manners. Come in there, make yourselves at home. All right. It's a similar story with the restaurant. Oh, 
pop it back to bed. Can we stop up? No, you cannot. It's too late for you. Aww. You'll have something to talk about if you're not back under them covers before I get up there. Look, I'll tell you what, when your dad comes in, I'll tell him to come up to you, all right? Mm. Hey. Hey, they do like their exercise, eh? Well, it's probably still a bit jet lagged. All right, mate. Uh, thank you. My room is charming. Yeah, well, you won't see facilities like this where you come from. No, uh, no, our lifestyle is certainly not so um, individual as this. Hey, hey, do you fancy a bite to eat, mate? Uh, that would be delightful. Do we dine here or in town? Oh, <laughs> what do you like? We don't dine anywhere, mate. Round here, you eat what's going. I am at your disposal. Right, mate. Get your coats on. I know where we're going. It'll be right up your street. Queenie! So this is your dining out. What's wrong with it? Seat so far. Oh, no, no, it's very interesting. It tells me a lot about you. What do you say, then? Oh, we are more formal. Not so <coughs> relaxed. Yeah, but we don't want to get that relaxed. What does your wife say about it all? You know, all this gadding off, hobnobbing with civilized people. It is part of my job, and she understands that. Oh, so you are, madam. And I have three lovely children. Mm -hmm. uh, here. Oh. Dear, dear. I bet he ties it up good and tight while he's off, Galavant. I know. I bet you don't feed off for what you put up to either. My wife and I have no secrets from each other. You just trust each other, like? Of course. Don't you? Trust him. You've got to be kidding. I know his tricks like the back of my hand. He's a dirty, sneaking, conniving little rat. Ah, oh, that makes a lot of difference. Uh, my wife is not a rat, and I hope she could not marry a rat either. All right, then. Whose idea was it to send you sneaking over here, trying to catch us with our kegs at half mast? My father likes to keep an eye on his investments to see how British industry really works. My father's methods are not always mine. Oh, too right, Father. I have no complaints. I think I am in good hands. What would you recommend? Couple of bennies in the blindfold. Steak five, chips, peas and chips four times. You do stomach pumps and all, love?
safe position deliberately, hoping to protect his lead. Do any good. I like scruff. Don't we have plates in this house? Have you upset her? How do you call this? Bloody train come in two hours late, didn't it? Your tea's ruined. Yeah, I'm not that peckish. Oh. If I'd have known, I'd have not bothered. Oh, kids are asleep. At this hour, I should hope so. New clothes. What do you reckon? That's what Foxton does for you, is it? He'll be getting two grand for us next. Great stuff. What is? Welcome home, love. Don't be too sure. Give it a chance, eh? What you've got to remember is where he comes from. It's night time now. Probably thinks it's still at home. Fifteen quid a piece, twenty-five pounds for two. An asset to any garden. I was a non-stop fun. We make this. And this, and this. Uh, we make all these. You make this. Is any good? Very good. I love it.
It's embarrassing. I hope nobody sees us come out. Well, did you enjoy yourselves? Go here and watch Nightmare on Elm Street. All right, then. What do you fancy next, eh? I know. Come on. He's fishing too late. to do at home. Fine. You get off with Chairman Mao then. We're not stopping yet. Oh. No. Well, I'll just give it a bit longer then, perhaps. Watch how you do. Enjoy your meal. This is the stuff, eh? Now what? Bad for you there, Ma. Got cholesterol. Oh, you fussy kids. Thursday. Get it engraved. Have it sprayed to match your curtains. Lovely table decorations. Everyone a gem. How are you doing? Still a few left to shift. This is a joke. It's too much. Eh? You price yourself out of the market. How much you pay for these? 50 quid the lot. Okay, pen. Thank you. Fantastic. Reduction. Six pounds? He can't do that. I've got an honest living to make. You make no living at all if you charge these prices. You can have a tarte, please. There you go, mate. Fantastic reductions. All the rage in Casablanca. There you go. Six pounds. Don't worry about that. Tenner, four pound change, right? Well done, son. 
Right, you go. Is that right? They're supposed to be 15 pound each. Shove that kiss a dip, brain. How many did you shift? Interest was on the point of perking up. Get sell before my toe picks up your arse. You're right, mate. Well, we do things over here, pal. You've got to show me who's boss. You like to be boss? Not much, pal. Who doesn't? And at work, too? Oh, go away. I'd sell me drinking arm to land inside old Bernie lad's boots. He is a good boss, then. What do you like? There's no such thing. You've got great snap beaking over your shoulder, trying to catch it on the hoof till you mar a good day's work, worrying where he's going to sting you next. Boss equals bastard, mate. It comes with the job. So if you are boss, then what? Then I get my own back, don't I? Then it's my turn to play blue murder with them poor buggers on the shop floor. But what is achieved, then? What do you think's achieved? Satisfaction for this girl here? But that is just a vicious circle. That's right. That's how we do things over here. In my factory, there are no bosses, only workers. Oh, you get bog all done then, pal. You need some bugger breathing down your neck, else nobody does a tap. In my factory, the workers are bosses, and the bosses are workers. Our profits increase 67% in two years. Yeah, you've got to say. All the way from Tenerife, Ginnywine, Canary Island produce, due for a tenner. Every home should have one, every one a winner. I take it you realise you're breaking the law. Get away. Illegal imports, cruelty to animals. I wonder what the RSPCA would make of it. Oi, pop it, hamper mouth. We don't need your sort scaremongering the paying public away. Someone should get onto immigration. How do you know they've not got rabies? They don't bite. No teeth. See? No, but they could give you a very nasty suck. Any minute now, there could be a very nasty accident. You should be ashamed of yourself. Pet supplies, walk booth along. They do a crack and muzzle in your size. <laughs> Dicky, get off the road! Two ice creams, please, mate. You spoil them, kids, you. Can't spoil me, I know, can't spoil. But to learn, they can't just have all time. I never could learn that looking at me. I fancied a good time this weekend. I'll see what Fancy did. Oh, do look at me. No, I'm starting to think I shouldn't. You know your trouble. You still think you're 18. Self to please, mum to skivvy, no claim on your wages but what goes down your throat. You do that. I could have stopped in folks. Oh, well, if it's that exciting. It's a sight more bloody fun than bloody ear eight and long faces. You want it all, you, don't you? Me in kitchen, me in bedroom, mum, missus, money coming in. Well, I work and all now. Have a tongue in my head, I've sum it up here. I can't just be what, what you like, what you say. I can't just be what you fancy, when you fancy, and go out and bring half the money in. And where do these come in, eh? Dump round at your mums, fetch their own tea, come on to win at the house. They can manage. I wonder. Hey, you wonder that much, stop home and watch. It's you should stop home and watch. Oh, I thought it might be. You can't have it both ways, Ray. Can't have it anyway, it seems to me. And whose fault's that then? Oh, and whose is it then? Last one this box now. Yes, we'll take it. How much? Six pounds. Hey, do you want a bank for that one, love? No, thank you, love. It'll carry right. it. So now we celebrate. Woo. As you say, we made a killing. <laughs> 22 Queen Street. You know this place? But this time, I will be host and you will be my guest. If I could just be dropped off at your bus stop. Hang on to your shreddies, petals, I know a shortcut. So. So? Yeah, so I'll probably give it a miss next weekend. Fine. I'll post your money. There's no sense spending all that hard earned just to catch a couple of hours at home. No. So you manage? Oh, I manage. Fuck 
California. Be nice. Let's not miss me, Jane. The manager comes from friends of my family at home. I am invited to drop in at any time. That's fine. These are friends of our family at home. We are invited to join them for a traditional Korean banquet. Which is all these over there? One of those birds' beaks and feet and nests and that. Wait and see. I think you will enjoy it. Please, allow me. I can recommend the prawn dish. I think you will like them. Now we have a chance to compare our national cuisines. Joyanghi, Joyanghi. I'd like to propose a toast to my English hosts for showing me a typical English weekend as lived by the typical English family. Tapsida. You have come over here to get the benefit of the great British expertise. And my little mate here, he's turned out to be a nifty, sharp learner. So, since we've all gone oriental for tonight, and just to prove I'm a bit of a linguistic myself, the toast is to Pista! <laughs> We seem to have lost the art of conversation in this house. When's my dad back? Not for two weeks. Two weeks? You heard. 
Why can't he come next weekend? He's busy. Well, I'd have been nice if he'd come home. You'll want some practice then. You've lost the knack lately. Well, I'm in good company then, aren't I? Right, enough lip off you, lady. It's high time we had a different tune round here. Like what? Like, no moaning for your dad. Like, no long faces. Carrying on like we've no better to do. If he wants to go chucking his charms around folks, then we shan't be sat up losing kit for him. Oh, and you better get used to babysitting because I'm going to be off out a lot more from now on. But where? Where I please. Well, what's the mod look for? We can enjoy ourselves without his assistance. I'm starving. What do you fancy? Barbecue ribs, double chips, banana milkshake and two king size chalk ices. Right, get your coats on. What for? Catch the place before it shorts. Chalk ice and milkshake. Why, well, no, we don't have to ask your dad before we treat ourselves. We'll get out to tap. Well, it'll serve him right then, won't it? I think you know what this is about, sir. Smuggling. Hang on. Please, you can't arrest him. Yeah, can't we? Here's another one. They're English tortoises, born and bred of the glass in Macclesfield. <laughs> oh. in the face again. Not at all. I'm most grateful to you for enabling me to see how the famous British justice operates. Mr. Kim Soo Young? There appears to have been a slight mistake, Mr. Inspector Carter. I am here on a government business exchange mission. I think it would be unfortunate if the Korean press got to hear about this incident. Return Mr. Soo Young's personal belongings and his wallet. Why don't you go home, love? You'll be sorry. He's a very important person. His daughter owns half a Korea. You'll see. You'll end up with a second pale arbor on your hands. You're so loose. It was most enlightening. I compare our Korean with your British justice. And I find we are not so unsophisticated after all.
morning, Mr. Kim. Good morning, Mr. Buckley. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Norma. You had a productive weekend. Oh, that's very productive. Thank you, Mr. Kim. And yourself? Oh, very quiet. Very relaxing. Good. 